The Filipino farmer is a dying breed. Ang average age ng farmer sa Philippines, 57 years old. So, ibig sabihin, in 10 years, wala na tayong kakainin. Wala na tayong kakainin. Siguro, 15 years. Siguro, 15 years. Siguro, 15 years. Siguro, 15 years. We introduce you to a businessman who, at the age of 31, was a certified billionaire. 33-year-old Joseph Calata is known as one of the country's youngest self-made billionaires. He's the CEO of Calata Corporation, a recognized agriculture products distributor. The Philippines is very uh, rich in land that it would be our strength. We should focus on helping these Filipinos. Tulad ngayon, tingin ko dito sa lugar na to, ang farmer, konting-konti na lang eh. Sa bukid lang ho ako nagpiperming magtarbaho. Baka mga limang taong pa yan, wala nang sasakayin dito. O mga makapabrika na dyan, umalis na. Hirap ka, pawis, dugo. Talagang sa kabataan niya yun. Madalang naglalaba sa bukid, mga takot sa araw, mga mainitan. Yung mga kabataan niya, mga magpapakinis ng ano, ng mga mukha, ba't nilalaba siya? And yung mga bata, ng mga anak nila, wala naman sa farming. Sa iba nagtatrabaho eh. So, mo, wala, wala na, wala na mag-continue nun. If we are not encouraging and inspiring young people to go into farming, I think that's going to be a big problem in, in the future. For example, ngayon, kung walang foundation, walang gusto mag-initiate, ano ang future ng farming? Kung mag-iisip tayo, parang, ano ba ang future ng farming? Wala eh. Walang, walang mag-initiate, walang... Wala magmo modernize wala. Ang future ng farming, mamamatay ang magsasaka, walang bata magtutuloy. Yun ang future. Sure yun, in 30 years, yun na yun. Halos wala na rin sa mga anak ng mga magsasaka ang gustong sumunod sa mga yapak nila. Itinuturing ang Pilipinas bilang isang bansang sagana sa agrikultura. Dahil nagana pa rin ang gutom sa bansa. Natatakot ang Department of Agrarian Reform sa posibleng food shortage kung magpatuloy ito. There's no way to earn a living to feed. Bitin kapag walang wala na sa budget. The province is expecting to lose at least half its crop. The problem is obvious. No more people to farm the land. No more crops to harvest. No more food on the table. Hunger. Pero pag ang population natin in 30 years, nag-9 billion na, tingin mo ba makakabili pa tayo sa ibang bansa? Maka hindi na eh. Tingin mo ba bibigyan pa tayo ng China ng rice? Bibigyan pa ba tayo ng India ng rice? Sila muna unahin nila. Hindi tayo unahin. Atalo, paano tayo na tayo ngayon? Kung di iniisip yan. Mm -hmm. Walang kakainin ng Pilipinas kung wala kang tatanim dito. For sure, maguguto man lahat. Di ba? The situation is dire. But not helpless. Actions must be done, and they must be done right now. So, malapit ang puso ko dyan eh. Saka tingin ko, time to ano yan eh, give back dun sa society natin. Nagawa ko na to eh, di ba? Lumaki na yung company natin. Urgency is of the utmost importance, and the Kalata Foundation boldly takes the lead in solving this crisis. Walang gustong pumasok sa ganong field eh. So, yung foundation is para nga ma-inspire ulit sila, ma-inspire yung mga tao. The aim of the foundation is threefold. Inspire, cultivate, sustain. So, this, this university will, will give them the knowledge to manage, to do business, so they know how to, for, the, for the new technology, for the new future. And then they can inspire everybody else. So. Pero yung mga kabataan, dadun na sa ibang bansa, pababalikin mo dito. At sila mismo mag implement kung paano gawin yung latest technology. At sila mismo yung magiging future farmers, entrepreneur farmers. Tingin ko magbabago ang, ano, magbabago ang agri natin. Lalo na kung maraming magko-cooperate at tutulong at sasama sa atin. As we say in Argentina, if you're a farmer, you're a rich man. <laughs> you know, because you have the technology, the tools do the work for you. You know, and you can, you can improve your yields, you can, you can do a lot better, more efficient. The Philippines is in need of farmers, intelligent, skilled, modern, and dedicated farmers. Ngayon, ang gusto kong baguhin na mindset is dapat yung mga farmer na bago, entrepreneur farmer, parang sa US. So yung foundation, yun yung goal eh. Maging entrepreneur farmer, yung parang i-cultivate yung mga young people para maging entrepreneur farmer. To initiate change is to inspire people to change their mindset 
and open their horizons. That it's very important that Filipinos know how to do their tools. We don't want to come here and say, this is our way, we impose this. We want them to learn, learn our ways, educate in the university, which is, they will give them the best tools, they're preparing a specific program from them, they will go to school half a day, they will have an apprenticeship, on the job training for half a day, so we will match, match one student with one farmer. To cultivate necessitates giving the new breed of farmers the proper education and equipping them with technology, arming them with tools to set them up for success. Kailangan magsimula sa mga bata na matuto muna ng latest technology. And then, kailangan magkaroon ng mga center na nandun lahat ng uh, tools ng mga farmer para umasensya sa pagpa-farming. And they're not gonna be labor. They're gonna be you know, with the boss. They're gonna be agronomists, agriculture science. They're gonna be the, the, the knowledge guys. Tuturuan sila ng tamang uh, pag-fertilize, misol analysis, yung mga supply chain. To sustain the program, we come back full circle to the now modern Filipino farmer. It starts with him. It ends with him. So imagine mo mula dulo to dulo. From bata, naging matalino na sana na mag-agri, nandun lahat ng support. At the same time, may mga facility para may, may, may process yung mga produkto nila. So, I, I can feel the, the Filipino spirit. You know, that nothing stops it. They're very resilient. Uh, they, they always go forward, they're hardworking. The problems facing Philippine agriculture are deep and wide. Any attempt to solve them seem futile at worst and temporary at best. But steps must be made. Actions must be done. The Kalata Foundation is at the forefront of initiating change. Kasi mahirap ang change eh. Pag nagbago ka, nagre-resist lahat eh. Kasi mahirap, mahirap naman talaga yun eh. Marami ka makakaaway. So, yun yung pinakamahirap. Yun change. So I think if they see the vision there, and they, they can feel they can bring that here, there's no need to go abroad to work, you know. They, they don't need to be away from their families. They can have a, an amazing life here. Kasi, kung merong anak, nasabi sa tatay nila, tatay, wag natin benta to. Diba? Wag mong benta yung palayan mo. Aayusin ko to. Magpapaturo ako sa center kung dapat itanim dito, nakikita tayo. Hayaan mo na yan. Huwag natin ibenta yan. Kung merong ganun, tingin mo, bebenta pa nila yan. Hindi na nila ibebenta yan. The foundation takes it upon itself to spread information about the crisis at hand. Awareness is the first step. However, the solutions are multifaceted and involves multiple sectors. The Kalata Foundation invites you to be part of this solution.